Here we are, girls. Thank you all so much, my Quilly companions, for all of you who not only popped in and out of the live stream, but also the replay, the community post. I'm blessed. I clearly have the best subscribers on YouTube. Don't fight me. Come fight me. Is that what how it goes? <laughs> As you guys can see, I am pre-pooing my hair. Now, I already did a tutorial on the protein treatment that I use. And yeah, I'm most shocked at how thick my hair feels, you know, but it's still fine because as I look at it now, I'm like, okay, right now I just put this in. So I'm going to wrap my hair in some saran wrap and I'm going to let it sit in for about 30 minutes and I would normally do an hour, but my hair actually feels really good. And so I know I don't need a intense protein treatment. So I will come back and we'll shampoo. Well, this is the plan today. My agenda shampoo, deep condition for 30 minutes with heat, blow dry and you know, I didn't think that far about how I'm going to style my hair until I do my mini braids. My mini braids, I didn't think I, w I plan to actually, you know, I feel like I need to do it before Friday. So I'm tired. That 10 hour live stream took everything out of me. So anyway, let's just get into the wash day. Okay. <laughs> All right. Voiceover share here. Let's get into my wash day. So I shampooed my hair twice so the first i shampooed with my vo5 clarifying shampoo in the scent kiwi apple i believe yeah i'd have my hair smelling really good and then i went in a second time which you'll see with my malibu mineral water shampoo or hard water shampoo now i will say that my initial regret after i got deeper into my wash today was that I did not keep my hair in sections because I didn't realize how many shed hairs that I still maintained after that big brush out I did in the live stream. So lesson learned. But let me tell you, I felt so good being able to just reset my hair and get all that product off of it. I was most surprised that my scalp wasn't that dirty. My scalp was in pristine condition before I even shampooed it. So this wash was really about resetting my hair because as you girls know, I am attempting to do, which I'll share more later about in the video, a new regimen. So I really wanted to reset my hair to make sure that it was a clean slate for my new regimen. Now I want to address my tender scalp. So one of the things that surprised me about my scalp is after three months of not being bothered with, it was still very tender to the touch. Like I could barely split my hair and you know, I don't know what that's about because like I believe when my new growth grows out, the tension from the braid is gone. So my hair really only struggles with that tension maybe the first couple of weeks of my protective style. So I'm not really quite sure why my scalp is as tender as it was. Um, and it, it always is this way no matter what. The only time my scalp never felt sore or tender was during my wash and go season so i'm thinking that it's mainly because wash and goes are tension free you know so even though i don't braid tight i really don't i think that because your hair is in that same section for so long that could be why i don't know if anybody has any insights about that i'm all ears but yeah so here i am just detangling using my shea moisture intensive hair mask treatment um this is also slightly protein as well so that's why i used it even though i did do a protein treatment prior but it's also very moisturizing so but yeah i realized that i should have 
Okay, here is the nightmare tangle that I encountered. So there were still so many shed hairs. And because I washed my hair loose, they had a chance to, in, to mingle and get to know each other very well. Very well. You know, they were kind of like till death do us part. <laughs> so I actually started praying during this. You'll see my mouth moving. I started actually praying to the Lord to help me because I thought I was going to have to cut my hair. It was so dreaded and, um, but this is just reaffirming how a gentle touch and patience can undo something that could be detrimental. So I just stayed calm and I undid, I, I kept pulling the strands apart one at a time until I finally got the culprit and that was that's what it was it was a shed hair that look at it look how big it is <laughs> oh my gosh so I was glad that I did not cut my hair because I was ready to just find the scissor and just say you know what? I'm not dealing with this but now you can see the comb going right through it it was just so amazing to me I'm like my hair is fine but yeah it can still resist a brush you know and that's because of the the tangles. Yeah, I was just praising the Lord at this point. I was like, thank you, God. But yeah, the rest of my detangling went well. I had to find a better way to use this, this brush. And I only used it once and that was only when my hair was straightened. So I had to figure out how to use it best for my coily hair. So I figured it out. My tangle teaser was way too dirty from the takedown. So I didn't want to put that on my hair. And so my plan was to deep condition for 30 minutes with heat. But by the time I was done detangling through all of this hair, I was like, you know what? I had the pre-poo already. I did a little bit of some intensive moisture. I'm rinsing this out. Um, mainly too, because I, I knew I was going to blow dry my hair after this as well. So I didn't want to put too much product or have it weighed down too, too much. So... Yeah, so after I finished this last section, I rinsed out my hair. And I rinsed it out um, slowly so that way the other side had a chance to sit a little longer. But yeah, yeah, it was really satisfying to finally wash my hair and get it all together. observation my hair was I still had a lot of shed hairs so I think next time because this time when I did my protein treatment I didn't use a brush so next time when I get out of mini breaks again I'm gonna have to do another brush out because even though I did one in the live it just I guess I still just had that many shed hairs but the conditioner that I use helped tremendously and then I also sectioned my hair in smaller sections because I used to be able to do four sections, but now, you know, my hair seems to have taken on a thick personality. So I skipped, or I actually forewent you doing a deep conditioning with heat because I was over it at that time. I was like, I don't really want to get back in the shower, so I'll be fine. Um, my next thing right now is to blow out my hair. I won't be showing you guys, well, maybe I should. Should I? I know I can hear somebody saying, no, show us. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and do half of my hair and then that'll give me time to charge my light. Otherwise you won't be able to see. Um, so I will do half of my head and then I will come back and do the other half on camera. All right, let's get to it. <laughs> <laughs> 